fellow Diamond Painting Addicts, and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne, and I'm here today with kind of an unusual video for me. This is going to be a preparation slash kit up video, but in a twist for me, I'm going to be kitting up three kits all at once. So I have had these kits laying under some books on my table because I just really wanted to do all three of these. They're all kind of small snack size paintings. They're all round, so they should go pretty quickly, but I just really like them from some of your comments you did too, and I wanted to do them so that you guys could see what they were gonna look like. So what I have done is I have already scanned in all the schematics for all three kits, and I have printed them out to size so that they will fit on what I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna use my handy dandy Xyron here to make the stickers, yeah, I'm gonna be kitting up three kits. However, they're all gonna get done a little bit differently. The first one I'm gonna kit up is the lighthouse. This is a 40 by 30. It is that stained glass look that I like so much. And I just really wanted to do this one. I wanna see what it looks like. So this one has 25 colors. So what I have chosen to do for this particular kit is that I'm going to be using my little 28 QB containers. I love these things. There is always a link in the description box down below to these. These are probably after my Elizabeth Ward, my absolute favorite go-to for kitting up kits. And so I'm gonna use that. There's 25 colors and if I, so I'll have three extra if I need them. We'll see how it goes as I go along. So I'm gonna be kitting up this one first. And as I get to the other ones, I'll explain what I'm gonna be doing. The first thing I need to do is to make the stickers. So I'm gonna put these in my Xyron here and keep it straight. I'm afraid I'm gonna run out of my sticker paper here. I might have to switch out my Xyron. It's getting kind of thin there, but we'll see. And I'm gonna see if I can remember to leave myself something to hang on to this time when I make the stickers. So I'm gonna cut off this side and then I'm gonna cut off the top and bottom because I don't need all of that. So all of these pieces are trash. So I'm gonna leave this side for something to hold on to. And I am going to cut all of these stickers. The reason I leave something to hang on to is because you can see I'm cutting all the way through. That way, when I go to pull these off, I've cut through all of the stickers, but they're still attached and I don't have all of these very tiny pieces of paper stickers floating around that I'm trying to deal with and pull the backing off of. Just makes it a little bit easier. Although someone did recently show me a tip for how to handle that. I may make a short out of that. I've been trying to do my, my 10 second tips series. I haven't done a ton of them, but I have done several of them. I need to make some more just so people who are new to diamond painting can kind of, you know, get some quick, literally 10 second tips on how to do some things when it comes to diamond painting. Things that, you know, people who have done this for a long time have learned all the kind of shortcuts and everything that make your life a little bit easier. Okay, so I've got my stickers cut. I've got my containers here. I'm gonna move my canvas out of the way, get my tray out, get my drills out. And I'll be right back. All right, so I've got my drills here. They were all in numerical order. I don't think they still are, but that's okay. I'll sort them out. Then I will start putting them in order because there's no, there's just numbers on the bags. I do have my DMC codes here. If you like to work from baggies, these are all set up for you. I, however, do not because I constantly spill. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna kit these up into containers. All right, let me put my first couple of stickers on here so that I can get going because I'm being ambitious today and trying to kit up all three of them. Trying to find things to do inside the house because it is so unseasonably hot. All right, where's number one? Here it is, there's number one. It is so unseasonably warm. They are still working on the street expansion south of me and I feel so sorry for those men and women out working in this heat. Also my poor husband. 
it's just so hot and I mean they take breaks and they have water but it's just when it's 110 degrees outside and there's no shade and no breeze even breaks don't always get you cooled off enough I think I've mentioned before my husband had somebody on his one of his crews that he got heat stroke so bad he went to the hospital he actually went to the hospital twice and he ended up getting put on um, disability leave for a bit because his kidneys started to shut down it was so he was so overheated and you know I told my husband I felt so sorry for him and his family because even though he's not well trying to come back to work because they don't have sick leave where my husband works if they're gone they just don't get paid trying to pay your bills <laughs> And, you know, he's in the hospital, so on top of not earning any money, he's costing them money because he's in the hospital. It's crazy. So I always tell my husband, because he's one of the medications he's on, makes him more susceptible to heat stroke and dehydration. So I'm constantly telling him every day, make sure that, you know, you're drinking enough water, taking enough breaks, and he's lucky enough that you know he's kind of the the head of his crew and so you know if he starts to feel bad they can take a break and they do a good job all the guys that he works with know that he's on that medication and they do a good job of making sure to keep an eye on him if he looks like he's getting overheated or whatever it's pretty funny my husband is just one of those people that doesn't like to sit around he's always got to be doing something while he likes you know kind of being the one that tells everybody else what to do some days he just can't sit still and so they have to no 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 you can't you know do this this is going to be you'll get overheated and you know when they're up in a bucket working on lines and stuff they're wearing all that safety gear so even when it's 110 115 degrees outside they're in fire retardant long sleeves the rubber gloves all that kind of stuff it's just yeah, it wears you out quick. All right, so let me get here. Eight, nine, 10, 11. Slowly getting them into some sort of order here. Even though I am inside in the air conditioning, it is still hot. I mean, I'm in here under these studio lights, so that doesn't help. Maybe I should do this in the evening when it's not, <laughs> not as hot. Even though I'm inside and the air conditioner is running, it's still hot under these lights. All right, let me get that one in there. I can't wait to see what this one looks like. I'm really, all three of these kits, I'm really curious to see how they're gonna turn out. I really want the stained glass one to turn out as well as I thought it would, I hope it will, because I've seen so many of them. There's so many of them lately. I don't know if they're, I think a lot of the stained glass stuff I see is AI art, stuff that somebody has used, you know, an AI to do. I played around with Mid Journey for a while, and I, one of the days that I was playing around with it, there was somebody in there, I assume they were making like coloring books to sell, because it was close to the same kind of prompt over and over and over, but a slightly different image each time, but it was the line art like you'd see in a coloring book you know it's pretty interesting i think that was part of the interesting part for me was watching what other people were making and seeing what they were doing with it so 12 and 13 i'm definitely going to get in one container but i'm wondering about this big bag of 14 if that's all going to go in one or not so i think i'll start out with one but i bet i'm going to need to use two and then I think all the rest of them are definitely going to fit in one. So if I use two or even three for the 939, that's all. It's all good. And get all these out of here. Get a little straggler there. All right, number 13. This is a pretty color. I like this one. And even though these are plastic bags, knock on wood that I don't jinx myself. I'm not having any issues with static, so that's always nice. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Let me get these all kind of in order. Through 25, there we go. 
I just didn't think those were all going to go in one. But will they go in two, maybe? Not sure that was quite half the bag, but we'll see. Hmm. I don't want to fill that one up anymore. And I'm okay not filling that one either. Since I have extras, I have three extras that I don't need. That'll leave me, if I use this one, that'll leave me one extra for trash. So that will be fine. Kind of quiet here. I am listening to them still working on the street, but they're not, they park a lot of their vehicles in front of our house because we have big trees in our front yard. So there's shade. <laughs> so they park their personal vehicles in front of the house, which is fine. We're not out there anyway. It's a pretty yellow. All right, 16. My son is school started, so he's been working on his math homework. I don't know, I usually I feel like the summer flies by. I don't think I feel like that this year. I feel like summer was like, we definitely had, you know, like a summer break. That could be because we went to Canada right after school ended. Gosh, that seems like so long ago when it was just a couple of months. That's kind of crazy to think of that. That was just a couple months ago. And I would like to go again. The money that I had saved up for our trip ended up getting it spent on vehicle repairs. But what can you do, right? And then I can move on to kit number two. And I'm going to be doing something a bit different to kit those up. I could just kit them up in containers like this. And I thought about it. Oops, I got out of order there. All right, I need number 19 first. This is a pretty blue. I was gonna kit them all up in containers like this. And then I decided I was going to do something a bit different because I'm trying to, well, I wanna work on these as quickly as I can. Not because, you know, I get a lot of comments about people telling me, oh, I should just enjoy the kits. It's not that I don't enjoy the kits and it's not that I'm trying to, to rush that it, because I don't enjoy them. It's just, you know, the more things I can finish, the more things I can share with you. And I am only one person. So the faster I can do things, the faster I can share them with you. And let's face it, there's just so many diamond paintings in so little time, right? I mean, if I bought every single kit that I absolutely wanted to do, I would never sleep. That's, I mean, I would just be buying kits and I would never get anything else done. <laughs> and I do have other responsibilities besides diamond painting and filming. All right, so that's trash. That was the last of the container, whoops, container stickers. So here we are, and I will have one left. So I will use that one for my trash drills. I always keep my trash drills so I can show you guys how much trash I had. Plus it's just nice to have everything contained all together. I know a lot of people use like trash drill containers that are separate, you know, ones that you get like 3D printed or something. And while well, I think those are cute, I just, for me, especially when I'm working on you know, multiple kits. I'd rather keep everything kind of all together. Just my personal preference. You know, that's why I try to tell everybody, you just need to do, do what makes you happy in this hobby, right? I mean, nobody's with you when you're diamond painting. Nobody's looking over your shoulder telling you what to do. All right, so there was the last one. So there we have all of the drills, including my three containers of 939 for the lighthouse. I do have my logbook pages already printed out, so I know have the pictures and everything ready to go. I've got my dates ready to go, so all I gotta do is start diamond painting. So that's kit number one. Let me go grab the second one, and I will explain how I'm gonna kit that one up. Be right back. This is the second kit that I'm gonna be doing. These are these cute, colorful birds from DIY Choose. I just really want to see how this turns out. This background is not black. It is uh, 550. And so I really want to see with kind of the purple background how that makes the other colors of the birds pop. So this one has 21 colors. Again, the same thing. I've already scanned this in, 
printed it out. So I just need to make stickers here. Now I'm going to be doing this one a bit differently than I did the last one. So let me cut these stickers. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut these down one side and then I'm going to cut off the top here because I don't need that. And I'm going to cut off the bottom here because I don't need that. And then I need to just quickly go down the line here and cut all of these stickers into individual stickers instead of one long sticker. So I can put them on instead of my containers this time, I'm going to be putting these on trays. So you guys may remember I did my tower test and because these are smaller kits and because I don't need as many trays and because I wanna finish these as quickly as possible, what I'm going to be doing with these is kitting these up into trays. These are just inexpensive trays that I bought on Amazon. They do have the little slots here so I can pour out drills if I need to. I probably won't do that. I'm just gonna kit everything up. I'm gonna put the drill stickers here on the side so I can see them and then I'm gonna put them in my tower over here. So rather than kitting them up into containers and everything, I'm just gonna be putting the drills in these individual trays. So I've got all of my stickers cut. I'm gonna go put my canvas back. I'm gonna go grab the drills and I'll be right back. Okay, so one of the reasons that I'm kitting it up this way also is because I have these little 200 drill bags, which are my very least favorite way to get drills. So let me separate these kind of into DMC codes so I know kind of what order I'm going to be going in. Also, I've got one here that apparently is open and is spilling out drills. So let me kind of corral all of those together. Okay, so I've got them sort of sorted into DMC order here so that I can kind of figure out where everything goes so I can just kind of go in order. And I'm just going to peel off the stickers here and I'm going to put them on the edge of the tray here. Wow, not like that. That would drive me bananas if I left it that way. I'm going to put it on straight. <laughs> And then all I have to do with these, same way that I would be doing it if I was kitting up, you know, to put them in containers, but I just need to pour them in the drill trays and then I will be good to go. Did I not get that one cut all the way? Must not that got that one cut open. And then all I need to do is stick it in my tower and these don't have lids, but that's okay. I don't have small children in my house, so it's all good. I don't have animals in my house either, so I don't have to worry about, you know, the cat knocking them off my table or anything like that. My kid can be kind of clumsy, but usually I don't need to worry about him either. My husband's clumsier than my son. <laughs> my husband is a, it's a running joke. He's constantly knocking his elbows into something. And I'm hoping that doing it this way is going to mean that it's all going to go a bit faster, especially like for this particular color, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot of multi-placing with this color because it's the background color and there's a lot of it. You know, like I said, these are my least favorite way to get drills just because Trying to cut them all like this is always such a pain. Make sure you get them all down to the bottom far enough that you're cutting the bags open to get all of the drills out. So it doesn't look like so many drills once I get them spread out into the tray like that. Not very many drills here either. Only one tiny bag of this one. And I am putting them in order, even though you can't see it in my tower. I have it kind of a little off camera right here so I can just cut these open and then pour the drills in and put them where they go in the tower because I still have one more kit to kit up. Again, just these one little bags. 
but this one is so colorful. I'm really excited to see how it's going to turn out with all these kind of vibrant colors and especially that purple background. Like I said, I don't think I've ever seen one that has a this small anyway. Usually the 30 by 30s all have white backgrounds. So love when you find one that isn't. That's on there crooked, but I'm going to leave it. I'll probably fix it later, but for now I'm going to leave it. For now, getting other things done is more important. When I have a few minutes, I'll probably fix it, but... All right, I think I'm about halfway through this one. And like I said, really hoping that this is going to make it a bit faster so that I can get things done. All right, so here's this one. And this is 823, so that's this one. It's interesting that I just have this very small bag of 823. And then 824 and 825, I have three bags each of. That puts me over the halfway mark. I'm really, I want it to take this kind of break time for me before other things get started. Hmm. That seems like there's, oh, must be open on one end already because I've got some falling out. Let me just get them all in the tray and then I don't need to worry about it. There we go. I wanted to take this break while I'm not doing any kind of real, you know, major events or anything in August and September and work on just getting some stuff done. Okay, this is the one that obviously has a hole in it somewhere because it's filling out drills. So let me just get this cut and then I don't have to worry about these spilling out anywhere. Did I cut down far enough? I don't think I did. Let me try that again. That's far enough, there we go. Get them all out of there and into the tray. And then this one is 9.56. Ooh, this is a very pretty pink. I like this one. Come on, get out of there. All right, getting closer. 9.92. Here we go. Grab a couple more trays. I think I have more trays that I'm actually gonna need, but I pulled them all out just in case. If I don't need all of them, then I will have an extra tray that I can use for trash drills or anything else should the need arise. All right, this is 996, this is 992. So that's part of the reason I don't like these because it's really hard to tell what the numbers are because of the way that the type font, the font that they use makes it hard to tell. Is it 996? Is it 966? And there's probably people who will be like, oh, I should have it memorized and know that, you know, 996 is always going to be a blue, but I don't have all the DMC codes memorized. I have to have room in my brain for all the 1980s lyrics. Okay, so there's that one. And then number 17 is 3354. My son is always making fun of me about my taste in music. And I laugh every time he wants to show me, play me one of his playlists because it's music that I would have listened to or it's music that he listened to because I listened to it. And he's constantly telling me that, oh, this is something my coach would have played, you know, when he was in weights in high school. Well, that's because your coach and I are the same age. So those are the songs we listen to. <laughs> and so he knows all of them, even if he doesn't necessarily like all of them, but he likes more than he realizes. Hmm. I've got two left and I only have one slot where I started because I did it for 20, 20 instead of 21. But you know what? That's okay. Cause the last color here is going to be white 
and I can just put that one up at the top even though it will be out of order. If it really starts to bug me, I can put it back in order later. And if it doesn't, then it's all good. Yeah, I'm gonna end up rearranging that, but that's okay. It's all good. All right, last ones here to finish up the bird kit. And then I will move on to the third kit that I'm going to unbox or un not unbox, I've already unboxed it, that I'm going to be kitting up so you guys can see how I'm gonna do it. I will take a picture at the end to show you what the container, my tower trays look like over here. But for now, I'm gonna go grab the third kit and I'm gonna get started on that. Be right back. Okay, here is the third kit that I'm kitting up. I'm also going to be kitting this one up into trays. This one only has 18 colors, so again, I've done the same thing. I've scanned in the schematic on my computer, printed it out, and now I'm going to make my stickers here with the Xyron. And then I'm going to be kitting them up into my cat proof trays. Now I have 20 cat proof trays and I only need 18, so I should be good to go. And I actually have room in one tower for the, cat, the bird kit and the fox kit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same thing here with my stickers. I'm going to cut off the pieces that I don't need, leave myself something to hang on to here at the edge, and then I'm just going to cut these stickers. These are going to go on the side of the trays, or I might put them on the inside of the trays. I haven't quite decided how I'm gonna do it yet. I could just keep them in the bags and pour them. I just now thought of that. If I just left them in the bags or I just left the bags. The problem for me is that I diamond paint by symbol. So I really wanna have the symbols. Hmm. And I might do this a little bit backwards. So I'm gonna put the stickers here for now. I may have to go back over them with scotch tape or something because they don't always like to stay. Sometimes they like to fall off, but I'm gonna put my trays in order in the tower organizer. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes for me. I'm doing it backwards so I can make sure that they go all in where I want them. But again, I just am not a fan of diamond painting from baggies. I spill way too much. I'm very prone to getting confused if I don't have everything labeled about what color I'm working on and what I'm doing. Let's keep going here, number 15. I really like this fox. I was actually, I asked my husband which one of these he thought I should do first and the fox was the one that he picked. And you know, we're trying, I'm trying to decide, well, which one do I really wanna work on? And then I finally decided the answer was, I really wanna work on all of them. So this is what I'm doing to kind of make the whole process faster for myself. If I had had enough room, I might have actually kitted up the first one, the lighthouse one, the stained glass one, this way as well. I just didn't have enough room for it. And because it has so many colors compared to these two, I just thought, well, I'll do these two this way, and then that one can be, you know, kind of kitted up the regular way. Won't hurt anything, it's all good. This is so much faster for kitting up <laughs> to do it this way. Now, I mean, I'm doing it, if you're someone who could just label them like one through 18 and leave, you know, your trays numbered one through, I don't know, 50 or whatever your highest number is, one through 60, and then just put all of the, open all the baggies and put all the drills into the correspondingly numbered trays. That would make it go even faster. I, just like I said, I diamond paint by symbol. So I want to have the symbol on my containers, my trays, whatever it is I'm working from, because that's what I'm looking for when I'm diamond painting. I'm not looking for, you know, color number one, I'm looking for which one of these is the F symbol, which one of these 
is the R, which one of these is, you know, whatever it is. But this is certainly faster than kidding it up and say my Elizabeth Wards. The downside for me is that I like kidding up in the Elizabeth Ward because then at the end, you can see all of the pretty colors, which you don't really get to do when I do it this way. All right, only got five colors left to go. There, you can see them right there. All right, number five. I can't wait to see how this one turns out either. I think this box is just a really pretty kit. I really like the color palette of it, kind of the muted colors. All right, last four colors here. And I have some extra trays left over, so if I want to use them for, you know, like I said, a, a trash drill tray or whatever, I can do that. All right, so there's my last two trays. That's three kits kitted up all at once. My fox, my cute and colorful birds, and my stained glass looking lighthouse. So now I have them all ready to go. I probably will start with these two since I have them kitted up in the tower and the trays just so I can get those done. And then I will get started working on this. I have other kits I'm still working on as well. So stay tuned guys. And if you're interested to see how these are, look when they're done. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end of the video, guys. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.